Hey guys, it's, uh, I terrorized baby. Sorry about if I have a messed up voice. I'm really sick right now. But I got a request from Skills506 who wants to know how I do the uh, pitch lowered metal songs. And I'm going to do that for him. Uh, first off, to make them, you're going to need Audacity. And then. Uh, to upload them, you can use any video program. I have a good program like Sony Vegas, but I usually just use Windows Live Movie Maker. So, first, what you're going to do is you're going to open Audacity. Which, by the way, uh, a quick note you're going to need an MP3 file of the song that you want to do, not uh, any other format, otherwise, it don't work. But honestly, if you have any other format, it's easy to convert to mp3 but I'm not going to go through that so you're going to go to import audio uh, let's think of a song that I can do real quick um, uh, um, mice and men <coughs> uh, Let's take second and Sebring. And there you go, you have your uh your file, you know, loaded up and uh <laughs> basically you got that normal sound. Uh, hold on, I might be able to switch in the middle of it. Nope. But, uh, here, I'll turn it up a little bit higher. I'll play it for you real quick. And that's, uh, just the normal. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click right there. <coughs> right. <coughs> like I said, I have a cold, sorry. You're gonna click right under. 44 100 HC, just click that, go to effect, change pitch, and I usually go to down, and I usually only go uh, down one and a half pitch. So the actual song is in the pitch of C sharp or D flat, which either one you do. You're going to go down one step, which would be. Hold on. A whole step would be B because there's no C flat, B sharp. That note doesn't exist. So B, and then the other, and then one more half step, that'd be A sharp, B flat. The percent change will always be negative 15.910. Just do that. If you go to the percent change and enter negative 15.910, you'll automatically have. Uh, one and a half step. Hit OK, and just wait for it to go through its little pitch change. And there we go. And then we can turn it up a little bit more, and this is what it's going to sound like. Basically, the normal second in Sebring is played in drop, C sharp, D and a half step down, whatever you want to call it. And with this pitch change, this is what it would sound like if the song was instead tuned in drop A sharp, drop B and a half step down, whatever you want to call it. Now what you're going to do is go to export. Um, hold on. Uh, find where you want to export it at my documents section I have a folder called pitch lowered music and that's usually what I do and I'll just give it a name like mice and men second and Sebring and then drop a sharp just like that and uh, I'll hit uh, 
I've got options and you want to choose the best quality if you're going to upload it on YouTube. So 320 gigabytes per second. Hit OK and then save. Uh, don't mind the ID3 tags. It honestly don't matter if you're going to upload it. And I'll be right back and uh, I'll be right back and I'll show you how to make a video for you. Now if you don't plan on you know uploading your little pitch lowered song to YouTube then what you can do is you can just stop this tutorial there's no need to watch the rest but what I usually do to make my videos is I just go to um, let's see Windows Live Movie Maker first off and first go to add videos or photos because you can't add the music until you add a photo what I usually do is uh, God. So, sorry for my computer being slow. Uh oh wow. Um it, uh Hold on a sec. Sorry, I had to. For some odd reason, I didn't have the uh, album artwork downloaded. But what I usually do is I download the album artwork for whatever album the song was from that I just pitch lowered. So. And here's the album artwork. Now, I'm going to add music. Add music. and look for the pitch lowered song you just did go to music tools highlight the whole end point on music tools and hit control C to copy it go to video tools duration highlight it and hit control V to paste it delete the S at the end and hit enter and it'll stretch the length of the whole song now also what I do is I add some <laughs> weird effect to the uh, let's do this actually edge detection I'm gonna use multiple effects I'm gonna use edge detection and hue cycle entire color spectrum and hit apply basically what's that that's gonna do is it's gonna change the color through the whole thing. Now, to upload this on YouTube, go to uh, Publish Movie YouTube. Uh, I usually do 960 by 720. Uh, hold on. for it to load up. Might have to pause this until it comes up. Alright, there it is. And then just enter your YouTube info. And hit sign in and there it is. And you just enter the stuff you wanna name it and then you click publish after you enter all the stuff and that's it. Which by the way on tags uh, uploading through Windows Live Movie Maker, you can only do five tags. Uh, you can do an unlimited description, unlimited title, but you can only enter five tags uh, before uploading. Then you hit publish, and then it goes through the whole thing. Hold on, I'll go ahead and demonstrate. I'll just enter those five music category public and hit publish. And then you just wait for it all to publish and then go on your YouTube and edit all the information. But that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching.